Senator of the TDC again. Today we're going to discuss properly signing the trailer cap. This will adjust the weight from the trailer to your tractor, the tractor to the trailer, and vice versa. You come down here, you'll look to see what our equipment is. It's a six inch hole. You'll have two <coughs> options, most generally, a four and a six inch hole. We're dealing with 400 pounds per hole, is what we're dealing with on our trailers. Some companies will see a four inch hole, which is 250 pounds per hole, roughly. Right, uh, this right here is a newer trailer. It's got the air release pins on it. If the air is built up in the tractor, set your trailer brakes. Let's come back over here. We've got a pin here to release. It's an air actuated slider, so you'll pull that pin out. You'll see your slider pins go in. Once you recognize the slider pins are pulled in, let's get in the tractor. You're going to leave your trailer brakes set and release your tractor brakes, of course, to be able to slide your tandems. Uh, of course, if you want more weight on your tan on your drives on your tractor, you're going to be pulling the tandems backwards towards the back of the trailer. If you want more weight on your trailer, you're going to pull the tandems forward. So let's see how this works. Now, once you pull the trailer tandems back to the position you want them. Come back here. You're gonna push your pin back in to release your spider pin. I can't emphasize enough, wherever your trailer's at, you have to back up to the closest hole and recheck the slider pins. You do that real quick and right back. As you can see, all the slider pins have come into place here. Don't take for granted this system. The system is very easy to not get out and check them. I've seen tandems come out from underneath the trailer. Uh, big safety issue, and it doesn't look very good on your drive. Thank you.